All right, we're going to take a quick look at this new 2001 GMC Yukon. This isn't a fancy Denali or anything, but I've always really had a soft spot for these GMT 800s. So I figured we could take a look at this one. Uh, from what I uh, gathered, it recently came in. You haven't done anything to it. So there's some uh, kind of sketchy lug nuts right there. You know, it's all part of the GMT 800 experience. But this one's actually pretty nice. It has 235,000 miles. Had to play puzzle tricks to get the key to going, but you know, I got it going. Starts right up. It's almost out of gas. It ain't got no gas in it. It's got the uh, basic steering wheel. I'm gonna lie, I quite like this. It's got the original Delco radio. Power windows and locks. You got the lights. It's four wheel drive. It has an automatic transmission. And the four wheel slippy still works pretty good on this one. Has your power outlet there? Ashtray. <clears throat> Climate controls that look pretty beat up. This is the cassette player for the uh, radio. And a cubby down there. Some cup holders. Big center console. And I, I guess that you can lock it. You got the rear climate controls back there. These very comfy seats, I really like these. It's got your climate for the back, which works. The light, head visors, which have the double thing. You can have one go over here. And one go over here. I don't know what that paper is. But yeah. Stick that back up in there. Pretty neat. Got a mirror, some air fresheners. No book with this one. I like the two tone dashboard. That's kind of cool. The very 2000s kind of thing. It does. I'm not sure what engine this has. I guess we could take a look. I don't know if that actually popped or not. <laughs> Did it pop? Nope. It sounds pretty good though. The trim pieces would quit I'm trying to play pinochle here. I think I got it. Yeah, we got it. God, that was a pain in the ass. Now I gotta find the latch. It has the Vortec 5.3. Truck engine everybody wants for headless. This one runs pretty nice. It looks kind of rough, but I mean, it's really not in horrible shape. It's not as rusty as they usually are. Oof. Back seat's very comfortable, very soft seating. With your rear climate, or actually that's rear radio controls, cup holders. What I remember most about GMT 800s is the very soft seats 
and the very soft carpeting. They're very nice trucks. I really like these things. Not gonna lie, if I was in the market for a big SUV or a big truck, this is probably what I'd get. <clears throat> I think this has a third row. They're kind of uh, all thrown in there. It does have a center console thing with more cup holders. This is actually quite nice. I like this. The color is kind of like a grayish green. Does this work? Yeah. So it's got the hatch instead of the barn doors. Oh boy. The struts are kind of giving out, but you know, there's your back seats. And your very plush GMT 800 carpet. This thing's actually in pretty nice shape still. I mean, it's not the nicest one I've ever seen, but it's not in horrible shape. It's got what looks like mostly all the original wheels, except for the one on the driver's side. But yeah. I do three revs for Dale. Because you can't have a GMT 800 without doing it for Dale. Hell yeah, Borther. Well, yeah, there is a tour of a GMT 800. So, thanks for watching. And I hope you enjoyed.